Yo what's up guys it's your boy Zodrick and welcome to another tutorial video in this video I'll be showing you guys how to export your construct free project so that you can get it on a mobile on an iPhone device in this tutorial I'll just be showing you how to get it onto Xcode I'll not be showing you how to export on Xcode because that does require you to have a uh, a license which I do not have but I'll be showing you how to actually get it on Xcode and once you buy the license it really is as easy as pressing two buttons to export okay so the most important part is you need to prepare your project so if you've already if you created this for Android already then make sure to remove any bits of apps like uh, the Play Store app on here and a uh, Play Store object so that you remove anything that uh, that is not for Apple basically and once you've done that click on your project folder so you get your properties up here and make sure to fill in every single thing here so for your ID make sure it's com dot your business name and the app name or whatever you want it to be and then obviously whatever if you want to add your real name as author that's what usually what I do when I export my games and then you can obviously add your website there as well uh, and that's really it as once you have all of this stuff in that's is as easy as clicking menu project and then export and then on export you're going to click iOS Cordovia and you're going to click dub duplicate images recompress images and then for minify simple and then click next here you're going to click Xcode project and you can hit any of these options if you want uh, I'm going to click hide status bar because that's what I wish to do but if you do forget to do this you can also do this in Xcode so it's not the end of the world and now you're going to click next and it's just going to create your project so just gonna, gonna give it a second and while this is actually doing it I would like to apologize for like if the quality of the video is not great uh, I am this is my first time recording on a Mac so I'm not sure if I got my settings correctly uh, usually I'll record on my record on my Windows computer which my OBS is already set up for me so nothing is set up on this computer so uh, I'm not sure if OBS is recording it correctly uh, and other than that you're gonna have to also now go to your App Store which I have right here and you're going to make sure you have downloaded Xcode. So you're going to type in Xcode into your search bar. And you're going to get the developer tools Xcode. And you're going to download that. And once it's going to take a bit to download because I think it's around 5 gigabytes. So if your internet is poor uh, or, or it's a bit slow, then that might take a while. So make sure you have that uh, downloading. And you're just going to click open on that. Or you're going to go into your applications and open that manually. Uh, and okay, for me, it's just going to install a few things. So let, let that install its little parts while we also wait for this project. I would also like to say I have a Discord uh, where I go over like uh, where people can ask me anything they want about uh, Construct Street or programming in Python, which is my main programming language. Uh, I do do tutorials on my channel. Uh, and if there are any tutorials you would like to see on my channel, please do just tell me I do anything uh, that is requested by people because I just like helping. And yeah, uh, this is taking quite long, so I might just cut out the video here and I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, that didn't actually take too long. That was only a few seconds. So we're just going to click on download, uh, on download the project. Uh, not two times, but that doesn't matter. And you're going to go into your finder. And you're going to go into your downloads and you're going to look for the project which is downloaded, which is here. And as you can see, I just have a lot of my projects here. Uh, we're just going to download the project and you're going to hit click on it so it decompresses it and creates your project folder and once you open up Xcode which this is apparently still finishing uh, installations which is taking quite long we're just going to wait while this happens and just another reminder to like the video and subscribe for more amazing content like this definitely not bougie uh, yeah hmm. I'll cut the video but I'm just scared that as soon as I say I'll cut the video it'll, it'll, cut, it'll install so Okay, and Xcode has turned on, so the first thing you're going to see is this little menu pop up, and I apologize if you can hear the MacBook uh, uh, spinning its fans now, it's because it just installed an update, so it's quite loud, and I'm not sure how long it will take to come down, but anyway, we're just going to click open another project, and you're going to go to your downloads folder where you have, or wherever you put your uh, project that you just unzipped, and you're going to look for that project, and mine is right here and you're going to click on the folder and you're just going to click open and open and it's going to open up your projects right here and just give it a second okay it's fully open so you know what you're going to do is straight away go to where it says www and you're going to click the little arrow to open up more you're going to go to scripts and you're going to go to support check.js 
and where it says undefined equals type of, you're gonna highlight this part here. So you're gonna double click on that, Command C to copy, and then you're gonna double click on the undefined and Command V to paste that there. That's just some issues that Xcode has when translating the Xcode. I'm not sure why it does this, but you do need to do this for it to actually work. Now you're gonna click on your project and you're gonna go to signing in capabilities. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to uh, all on here and uh, for debugging, you can use your free account uh, to do debugging. But if you wanna do signing, you're gonna have to do a paid account, which once I do get, which I don't have right now, I will make a video on uh, extra things you can do in Xcode. But yeah, now that you have this, you can then launch it in an iPhone that of your choice. So you can click on here uh, and decide from different simulators. So let's go uh, iPhone 8 uh, and let's just click play. And it will start constructing your game. And once you give it a second, this is pretty quick. Uh, it's just the first time when it's loading up the project. It might take longer. And you're gonna see uh, the simulator pop, uh, pop up at the bottom of your taskbar, which you don't see because it cuts out in OBS. But if you click on your taskbar, you'll see a simulator pop up and you get this window. And you're just gonna, and it's literally just gonna be an iPhone simulator which launches up. And it should be pretty quick depending on the size of your game. There we go. So it's turned on and now we're gonna look for our game. There we go, our game's turning on. And basically just like that, you have your game launching on uh, an iPhone. Uh, if you do want to get an iPhone connected of your choice, uh, so let's say you don't want to pay the license right now, but you do have an iPhone on you. I'm not sure why my game's not launching. That's probably my fault, not your fault. Uh, and you're going to go on here. And actually, before you do that, you're going to have to plug in an iPhone, which I don't have on me right now. And once you plug in an iPhone, you can click on here, scroll all the way up, and you'll have uh, devices connected to my MacBook. Once you click on that, uh, and you do go through the process here of clicking of adding it in which is just going to be saying do you want to install this package and you're going to say yes and when you click play it will actually download the game onto your phone so thank you for watching guys my name is Zodrick and I hope you enjoyed this video if you want me to show you any other tutorials make sure you tell me uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and join my discord goodbye